Hey guys and welcome back to Peak the Surferu. I'm here at the Gimpy Historic Station and it's the home of the Mary Valley Rattler. Going off guys, won't take your time, let's go inside, have some breakfast and we're off for a big choo-choo train ride with Peak the Surferu here in Gimpy. Yeah. here at the Gympie Historic Station with Karen. Hello, how are you? Good, very good, thank you. Now, Karen, you look after this big operation. Uh, I'm the marketing uh, manager here, so there's a, there's a team that look after the, the, uh, the organization. I'm one of. Now, there's two trains going here at the moment. We've got, a bit, we've got the cafe, restaurant sort of, oh, wow, look at this, very healthy food. Thank you for that. My favorite poached eggs with wholemeal bread and salad. Now tell us a bit about the kitchen and of course the food before we get to the train. Yep, so the Platform Number One Cafe is um, obviously in the uh, 1913 built station that's here in Gibby, the historic Gimpy station. It's been renovated. We opened in um, October 2018 with full operations, so train operations. Um, we, we love serving good coffee here, which you'll taste soon. Uh, really great um, food comes out of the kitchen. We've got a couple of trains, one being today, that's wrapped around food and produce. Uh, we have great local produce in the Mary Valley, so we celebrate that on our tasting train, which runs on a Tuesday, and our picnic train today, which runs on a Thursday. Well, that's amazing stuff, and because my show is all about health and fitness and organic and great food, Australian-made stuff, it's all here in Gympie. Now, tell us a bit about this train today, because we've got two lots of trains, yeah. and I'm very excited on this one here, because it's not a steam train. No, so this is a rail motor. So this is the RM76 little rail motor, um, and it's uh, it's a beautiful little train. It's of the favorite. It's my favorite train. It's a very different experience than when you're on the bigger carriages and steam train experience, which of course is fantastic as well. But this is quite intimate. There's two small carriages. You're in with the driver, chatting away with the guard and the driver. We have two guest experience attendance on board and as your journey goes through the Mary Valley they'll tell little snippets of information about the history of the line our region uh, they're there to answer any questions very passionate um, all volunteers so on all our trains drivers guest experience attendants guards they're all volunteers so we're very lucky to have a fortunate very passionate group of volunteers that's amazing stuff. Now, do we have a few stopovers before we get to the end destination and then head back? No. So our journeys run out um, from Gympie to Emmamore. So you're an hour on the train and then an hour at Emmamore where the train turns on a heritage turntable. Um, Emmamore is a beautiful little rural town. There's some lovely cafes and, and a beautiful little uh, country shop out there, kind of general store. Uh, you spend an hour out there. We've got a station out there at Emmamore as well. Enough time to really take that in and then hop back on the train and come back to Gympie so it's a three-hour experience. This same train runs out on Tuesday as a tasting train so it's an all-inclusive experience where you get a little tasting plate on the train that has beautiful produce of you know in season of the region and the guest experience attendants talk about that and then when you get out to Emma Moore there's a grazing table lunch and then you head back so both of those journeys are three hours return. Well, guys, I've just caught up with the train. I'm here with Mick. How are you, mate? Good. Good morning. How are you? Good. 
And mate, have you ever driven a train before you've been working here or is this the first time? No, I used to work on the rail in England. Now tell us a bit about this one because we've actually got two trains that we can come and ride on the Rattler here. Um, what do we call this train and, and where do you go? This is the original Red Rattler and she's 1934 uh, built. But this was built on a 1912 uh, bus chassis. It's so old and you can experience it all here in Gympie. Now we're just going to move on and meet second in charge on this train here today. Right. Now your name again is a hard one to say. Tanis. Tanis. Now where does Tanis come from? Ancient Egyptian uh, city. Now what's your role on the train? So I'm guard, so I'm responsible for the safe operation of the train. So basically I'm in charge of the whole train. So you're the man in case someone gets rowdy, you go, okay, buddy, you're off this train right now, mate. Pretty much. Yeah. Now, he's had training in Muay Thai, kickboxing, cage fighting, all that sort of stuff, so I wouldn't tangle with this guy. He's got the nice smile, but behind that smile is a Conor McGregor, I reckon. Eh? Yep. <laughs> now, Sounds great, mate. Well, I'll let you get back into it. We've got all of our customers coming on board now. We'll be on board shortly. Join us for the trip. Pete the Surferu going off here at the Rattler, here in Gympie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're here with Roger on board the Rattler. How are you, Roger? I'm fine, thank you. Now, whereabouts are you from? Uh, Southampton in the UK. Wow, we're getting people from all around the world. Now, what do you reckon of Australia and this trip? It's beautiful. I mean, it's a lovely line. And uh, the countryside, you just get to see the uniqueness of the uh, other countryside. Okay, we've got some more guys here. Now, it's a mixture of England and America. Hello, how are you? Hello, good, thank you. And what's your name? Helen. And where are you from? Uh, from Woking in England. Wow, and how are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, we're having a great time, thank you. And of course, Houston, we have a problem. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, yes. Now, how did you guys meet up, uh, coming from two different places? Uh, we've known each other for many years, but she lives in England and I live in America. But wow. Sam's English. Oh, he's English as well, wow, yeah. that's amazing yeah. stuff. And how are you enjoying this uh, train ride at the moment? This is great, this is wonderful. I always like preserved railways and old railways, so this is good. Well guys, we have arrived here in Amamore, yeah, and I'm here with my favourite friend, Marilyn. Marilyn. Hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Yourself? Thanks. Really good. We've got the train she's just coming. backing up behind yeah, us. she's coming down now. We can good. hear it tooting away. There's the captain talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> okay. we just now, got told we're not allowed to step back. Yeah, we've yeah. got to get over the white line, see? Yes, yes sir, yes sir, we'll do that. Now there's two options for passengers, they can come Without this green box here, yeah, there's a green I call box it the sandbag. Let's yeah. go through there and have a look what's inside. Oh. It's really yummy, yummy. Some crackers, cheese, olives, a lovely roll. We've got a, a water, a muffin. Some yeah. olives. Yeah, and some stuff. olives as well and some yeah. lovely cheese. So well, nice little package there for a yeah. hamper if anyone likes to have one on the train and come out and have a picnic. That's why it's called the picnic yeah. train. You've got to do the full thing. You've got to have yeah, the hamper yeah. with the trip, with the friendly well, staff the... here at the Rattler. And the picnic train. Yes, that's it, guys. Let's go have a feed and we'll be back shortly on our way back to Gympie.
Hey guys, and I've got special access up the front here with Tony, my man. How are you? Good, Pete. How's yourself? Really good. Now, this is really great to see how they did it back in time. Explain what this is all about and, of course, what's under the bonnet. <laughs> exactly, Pete. It would be a pleasure. Um, you're on the Mary Valley Rattler. Right? Yes. You're on the steam locomotive of the Mary Valley Rattler. It's a C-17 class locomotive built in Maribara in 1953. So uh, she requires a lot of tender, loving care there, Pete. My job this morning has been to drive it, okay? So that's why we got out here on time, believe it or not. However, my mate Chris, he's been the one shoveling the coal from the tender here into the furnace, okay? And he would have shoveled about three quarters of a tonne of coal between Gimpy and Emmermore. So it is, it's a great upper body workout. I mean, if people want to get fit, this is the way to do it. When he's travelling along, Chris will put coal into the furnace, he'll put water into the boiler. You run out of water, you don't go anywhere there, mate, and you get into serious trouble, okay? Over the other side, I've been working the controls there. We've got a regulator. That allows steam into the cylinders. We go fast or slow, okay? Then we've got a reversing lever here. We go, you push it forward, we go forward. You pull it back, we go back. You put it into neutral, you don't go anywhere. So that's basically it. We've got two brakes, we've got a train brake. That slows the whole train, the carriages and the train. We've got a loco brake. That helps us when we're just operating the locomotive. And look, up over there, all right, is the one that everybody wants to operate, and that's the whistle cord. Sounds great, mate. Well, all the best. Hey, great to meet you. He was just uh, cooking his tea back there in the furnace. He's going to have his tea break, and then we're off. Back to Gimpy, guys. Hope you're enjoying this trip, yeah. Well, guys, we've just walked over from the train to the Click Clack Cafe yes. with Janelle. Yes. Hi, how are you? Really good. Now, if you want to feast, this is the place to come after your hard-earned journey on the train. Now, tell us some of your specialities, as we can see here at the moment. I just can't wait to hoe into it, but just tell me some of the specials you've got. Okay, we have uh, Noosa Gourmet Pies. Uh, comes with salad. Uh, or you can get um, a range of different meats with your salads. I've also got a specialty which is my uh, traditional homemade scones. They're baked fresh each morning, uh, so you don't get yesterday's scones, you get today's scones every day. That is amazing stuff. Now the most important one, renowned here in this area. What's the name of this place again, just for the viewers out there, just so they don't know? Click Clack Cafe at Amamore. Amamore is the place. Now the coffee. Pete the Surferoo always has his cappuccino and this is the best coffee I've tasted in ages. Tell me about your secret. Our coffee is uh, first batch coffee. It's uh, air roasted coffee roasted at, Am uh, at Noosa and uh, it's an absolutely beautiful blend. What a great atmosphere, great people and it is all going off here at Gympie on the train ride. You must come here and don't forget to hop off that train and have a nice, relaxing one hour of food time and then back to Gympie. It's a pleasure talking to you. Great food. And we'll see you back on the trip to Gympie. Pete the Surfer, Janelle. Thanks, Pete. Hey guys, we're on the train with our lead guest attendant here, Suzanne. Hello, how are you? Hello, Pete. How are you? Hey, enjoying Gimpy? Gimpy, I love it. The Mary Valley Rattler has made my life so much fun. I've been with the Rattler now for just over 12 months, going backwards and forwards, uh, Gimpy to Amamore, yep. having a fantastic time. Now, just tell the viewers out there, we start at Gimpy, and what actually happened, what do we see quickly on our route to Amor. Okay, we, we go over Deep Creek, we go over the Mary River, 
and we go through the Mary Valley and as you, the scenery is absolutely fantastic now with all the rain that we've had and then we arrive in Amamor. Sounds great. Now this train is totally different to the Rattler which we were on the other day. It is very scenic, old and you actually experience what it was like back in the 1950s I suppose, eh? Yes you do. Everything has been restored to as it was back in the day. We're very proud that we keep the restoration up with help from all the donations, the volunteers. We all work so hard to keep this lovely train on the track. We stopped off at the markets on a Saturday and I picked up these nice lychee-like fruits. Have one. Let's have a try. I've never tasted these ones. They're organic, specially grown there. Make sure you pop into the markets and uh, get some fruit there too. It is really scrumptious. And the roses there, they actually really smell. Pete the Surferoo here on the train. See you soon, guys. Yeah. <laughs>